Len Brown, to show you a new Baroque dressage. Don't want to confuse you, so that's why I want to do a video on this one, like I did the regular Baroque dressage. This one has English rigging. The regular Baroque is available with English or Western. This one could be had either way too. It's what's under the flap. What's under the flap right here is an adjustable English billet setup. If you think it's too far forward for your horse, you have a small horse, you need to move the rigging back, whatever, you just pull these out. I give you extras on the billets. This saddle hasn't been oiled, it hasn't been finished, but it will be and it'll have black strings on it when I'm through. This dressage rider also rides trail, but as you can see, let me put these through here. You can adjust from full forward to medium in the middle to full back with your billets to position your saddle. That's done on all the English configuration flaps when we build with the English billets. So what is different about this Baroque, the Uno Baroque dressage? It is it's built on my full English bars, which are a little different than the one and the regular Baroque. Uh, this is a large saddle. This is 16 and a half inch western seat measurement. Would be like a 19 in English seat measurement. It will use one inch stirrup straps, and those stirrup straps will be adjustable one and a quarter inches back or one and a quarter inches forward by a little sliding loop on the stirrup strap hanger. All you have to do is push your English straps up some, slide the loop underneath them to the forward position, move your straps back. It gives you adjustability for the length of the leg and the rider and uh, letting them be more comfortable with their leg position. This saddle, as large as it is, is as it is, weighs all of 15 pounds. It has a nice reasonably narrow waist to the seat. It does not have a lot of rise to the seat. This is how we cover the cantle on most all Baroque saddles. And uh, the pommel on this one has the black rawhide on it to make it uh, look a little nicer, I think. This saddle also, it will have black strings before it goes out. But this has blocking, a foam blocking in front that I made and put on it to give you a little more positive leg position. And uh, you can get a look at it here. It makes for a rather unique Baroque dressage saddle. So I call it the Uno Baroque dressage. It has its own slightly different protector pad. The protector pad comes with a liner pad. All of my protector pads have a liner pad with them. So you use your balance shims right in here to balance you on the horse. Quick and easy front shims. They're a quarter inch thick, you get three for each side. Rear shims, quarter inch thick, you get two for each side. Riding over the shields of the patented protector system in the pad. To take the liner off so that you never have to wash the protector pad, undo the elastic, slip it off. Quick, easy. The pad's quite thin overall. And, uh, this is simply four millimeters thick. It's a soft polyester. It's really good. And it cleans easy, doesn't absorb a lot of sweat. Underneath these, you can see where they're sewn. Just fold up, hook up over the pad. This liner is reinforced in the center. It takes a lot of pressure here sometimes on withers. 
So any spreading pressures are taken care of by the perforated vinyl, marine vinyl reinforcement, thin but tough enough to make this last for many years. Lynn Brown, to show you one more thing before I quit, and that is the tree. This is a setup tree. This has not been finished. We take the ground seat mold off this tree. So we finish this out by hand. We let, then cover it with fiberglass. They have a lifetime guarantee. And uh, this gets the loops right here that hang down here. You have no strip strap bump. English saddles don't have a strip strap bump up here. English saddles have a sweat flap bump back here. They bite through the stuffed panels. You can't feel it, but you palpate a horse right at the back of the outer flap and the, the sweat flap. There's a half inch of leather that goes over the sharp edge of a tree bar above the stuffed panels. It creates a knot above those stuffed panels. Palpate your horse there on each side. You're going to find he dorsiflexes. That's what the protector pad stops, my English protector pad. This tree is uh, quite flared, a little bit clear to here, as you can see there. And it's also uh, got a good steep, we can see it here. There's a good steep enough angle. That's come from the twist in the tree bar to get our contact down here and leave space up here to where we do not pinch withers. See how close you are to your horse. Of course, this is filled in for seat shape above. It's not the regular tree. But you are close to the horse, very close. And in the rear, with all the twist in this tree, you can see that the bars flatten out. This is one really good tree for the large warm blood and draft horse. And this lady has draft and draft crosses that ordered this Baroque, Uno Baroque dressage right here. So I haven't got this on a website yet. I haven't put it on Facebook yet. And it's certainly not in the store, but it will be a little later. Lynn Brown, thank you very much. You'll have to try one of our Baroque dressage saddles, and uh, you'll be glad you did. Thank you.